Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Quick Steps Quick Guide, the series where I quickly guide you through the various aspects of Minecraft, teaching you the basics you need to know in order to play the game. In this episode I will be talking about the basics of caving while touching just a little on the subject of mining. Now before we begin caving, the first thing we need to know is how to find caves. You can find cave entrances in the sides of hills and mountains. You can also find large craters that lead to caves, or you could happen to just mine into one. Now you know where a cave is, you need to get prepared before exploring. This is iron ore. If you mine it with a stone pickaxe or better, you'll get raw iron. If you put the raw iron in a furnace with some fuel, you can smelt it down into iron ingots. If you take 24 iron ingots to a crafting table and place 5 like this, you'll get a helmet. Then by filling all but the top middle slot, you get a chest plate. Another 7 in an end shape will make some leggings, and by placing the last 4 like this, you'll get boots. If you then go into your inventory, you can equip all four pieces. This will outfit you in a full set of iron armor which will help keep you safe. Now for basic equipment. The first thing you want to craft is a sword for fighting mobs. You may want a shovel for dirt and gravel, and a pickaxe is an absolute must. You'll definitely want to take some torches and a shield will come in handy if you run into skeletons. A couple of chests will give you extra storage if your inventory gets full, and a spare furnace will let you smelt items on the go. The last thing to craft are a bucket, and a crafting table if you don't want to take your main one with you. Then you want to fill up your bucket with some water and then cook yourself some food so you don't get hungry. When exploring caves it's a good idea to place torches on the same side when you're going deeper into the cave. I favour the right side, but left works too. That way when I want to find my way out of the cave I just follow the torches that are on my left as I know they lead to the exit. You should always place torches at eye level or higher. Torches placed too close to the ground could get washed away if they come into contact with water, which could leave you stranded in the dark. Placing blocks that don't naturally generate in the area as markers is another way to prevent you from getting lost. Digging straight up or straight down in Minecraft is usually considered a big no-no. However, if you do happen to get lost, digging straight up can be an efficient way to find your way out. Just make sure you place a torch at your feet before you start digging. Because gravel is a gravity block, it will fall if there is no longer a solid block beneath it. The gravel will break when it lands on the torch, saving you from suffocation damage. Although digging straight down won't help you find the surface, when mining for ores it is a valid method for descending to the correct Y level, something we'll talk about in just a moment. But when digging down, do so by standing in the middle of two blocks and dig down on one side. When you do, you'll stay standing on the other block. Then dig down on the other side to safely descend with no fear of falling in lava. Now about that wire level I mentioned earlier. If you don't know what it is, I'll show you. Go to the game settings and scroll down to show coordinates, then turn it on. Now you have three sets of numbers in the corner of the screen. These are the X, the Y, the one we are interested in, and the Z coordinates. Y level 11 is considered to be the best level to mine at, as Minecraft can generate any ore in the game at this height, including diamonds, the most sought after ore the overworld has to offer. Now on the subject of ores, there are 11 in total. They each have their own set of rules they follow when generating and you will likely find yourself in need of most of them at some point on your Minecraft journey. I'm going to focus on 8 of these ores. Since 3 of them only generate in the nether, I'll cover them in a future episode. I will also mention a useful block that is not an ore, but you are going to need to mine it at some point. First we have coal ore and its deep slate variant. Both will drop coal when mined with a wooden pickaxe or better. Coal can be used to craft torches and be used as fuel for furnaces. Coal ore can generate anywhere up to Y level 131, but is most common between Y5 and Y52. Deep slate coal ore, and all other deep slate ores for that matter, generate only up to Y16. Next is copper ore, which drops raw copper when mined with a stone pickaxe or better. Raw copper can be smelted into copper ingots. Copper ore can be found up to Y192 and is apparently most common between Y5 and Y192. If this info is wrong, please do not hold me liable. All info regarding ores was obtained from the Minecraft wiki. Next up we have iron ore. Iron ore drops raw iron when mined with a stone pickaxe or better. Raw iron can be smelted into iron ingots. Iron ore can generate up to Y63 but is most common between Y5 and Y54. Here we have Lapis Lazuli ore which will drop Lapis Lazuli when mined with a stone pickaxe or better. Lapis is used for enchanting items. It can be found at Y33 and below but is most common between Y13 and Y17. 
This is redstone ore. Redstone ore drops redstone dust when mined with an iron pickaxe or better. Redstone dust is used to carry a redstone signal, Minecraft's equivalent to electricity, from a redstone input to a redstone output. Redstone dust is also used for crafting redstone components such as repeaters and pistons. Redstone ore is found up to Y15 and is most common between Y5 and Y12. This is gold ore and it drops raw gold when mined with an iron pickaxe or better. Raw gold can be smelted into gold ingots. Gold ore is found up to Y33, except in badland biomes where it can generate up to Y79. It is most commonly found between Y5 and Y29 in all biomes. The emerald ore, which drops emeralds when mined with an iron pickaxe or better, can be found only in mountains biomes. Emeralds are used for trading with villagers and wandering traders. Emerald ore generates up to Y32 but is more common between Y5 and Y29. And lastly is diamond ore. Diamond ores drop diamonds when mined with an iron pickaxe or better. Diamonds can be used to craft diamond armor and tools, which are the only things that can be upgraded to netherite gear, which is lava proof. Diamond ore generates at Y15 and below, but it's most common between Y5 and Y12. Although not an ore, obsidian is a block you'll want to mine. It is blast resistant, can't be moved by pistons or sticky pistons, and can be used to make nether portal frames. You won't find its crying obsidian variant while mining, but it's worth mentioning anyway. It can generate as part of ruined nether portals and is used for crafting respawn anchors. We'll talk about those in a future episode. Both types of obsidian need a diamond pickaxe or better to mine. Lower tier pickaxes cannot break either type of obsidian. Regular obsidian can be found in caves, ravines, and anywhere water touches lava source blocks. It is extremely common to find it at Y11 and at the bottom of ravines. Now you know how to find ores, let's talk about item management so that you never have to deal with diamonds floating on the floor. Our first option is to chuck what you don't need to make some space, obviously. The other option is to place down the double chest I told you to bring and throw anything and everything you don't need on you into it. A bonus tip for you, an organised inventory will benefit you in the caves, and placing one of each item you actually want into separate slots, you can guarantee they won't get filled with junk. And there you have it guys, that was Quick Steps Quick Guide to Basic Caving. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you and goodbye.